science. Let's learn about plants. Let's just have a think about what a plant is. Plants are living organisms that come in lots of different shapes, sizes and colours. Here are some examples of plants that are found all over the world. When I say the type of plant, can you shout out which number it is? Cacti Garden plants Wildflowers Vegetables Ferns and mosses. Did you recognise them all? I bet you did. Give yourselves a well done. Plant names. We're going to have a closer look at a variety of wild and garden plants. We will discuss what they look like where they grow and what time of year you can find them. Let's start by looking at some wild plants. Bluebells Bluebells have a small blue bell-shaped flower with a sweet scent. They grow in woodlands and can be found along hedges. People also like to plant them in their gardens. Bluebells flower between April and June. Buttercup Buttercups have small, bright yellow flowers on a long stem. They grow in fields and meadows and are often found near ponds. Buttercups flower between May and September. Have you ever played the game where you hold the yellow buttercup flower underneath one of your friend's chin? And the saying is, that if it shows yellow underneath your chin, it means you like butter. Nettles Nettles are easily recognised by their jagged edged leaves. The tiny flowers are a greyish yellow colour. They can be found growing in most places, such as along hedges, in overgrown gardens and in woods. Nettles flower between May and September. If you brush alongside a nettle, they can sting you, so it's best to stay well away. Snowdrop Snowdrops are beautiful little plants that have a small, white, drooping, bell-shaped flower. They can be found growing in woodlands, shady meadows and near streams. Snowdrops flower between January and March. Now let's have a look at some garden plants. Lavender Lavender has upright purple flower spikes on long stems with a distinct floral sweet smell. 
When planted, lavender likes to be in the full sun. Lavender flowers in June and July. Did you know that lavender can be made into an essential oil? And it can help treat people with sleep loss and anxiety. Roses Roses come in a huge range of different colours and sizes. They are very well known for their strong, pleasant scent. When planted, most roses need a sheltered spot with full sun. Most roses flower on and off all throughout the summer. Be careful if you do see a rose in a garden because although they look beautiful, they can be covered in thorns to help protect themselves and they can hurt if you touch one. Daffodils Daffodils are bright yellow or white flowers. They have six petals and a trumpet in the middle. Daffodils are very versatile flowers. They will grow in a range of soils and places. Because of this, they are very popular alongside roads and in public places. I bet you've seen a lot of them. Daffodils flower in the spring. Tulips Tulips come in a wide range of bright, bold colours. Most tulips have a distinct cup-shaped flower. Tulips grow best in full sun, sheltered spots, away from any strong winds. Tulips flower in April or May. Tulips make a great bunch of flowers to have in the house because they are so bold and beautiful. Give yourselves a well done for a super lesson learning about plants. I really hope you enjoyed that science lesson. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you did. And remember to subscribe to my channel, Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Bye for now.